up on live again, people. They are working in a lab with a next tutorial. So today we are going to do a mixing tutorial, a beat mixing tutorial to be exact, because based on the feedback you know, give me, you know, I say that you know, I say. So we could get into that now. Don't know if it's as usual. And what we are going to do is, if you listen to that rhythm, yeah, It might sound familiar because at the same rhythm we build from scratch and at the same rhythm we show you how we arrange and lay out. So we just continue on as a series and show you how we mix the rhythm too. So as you can see, the mix are empty. Before we start mix a rhythm, we have to first add the instrument them to the mixer. Yeah. So we are gonna add the instrument them to the mixer. And a good um, thing for like be to keep the session more arranged properly. Of a name the instrument them individually. You know, after everybody do them thing different, but as a rule at home, I normally do that. So them name already for the most part them label. I think this is a drum roll, so we can just call this roll. And this just save time in the future. After you add them to the mix and I bounce them out, everything have the proper name, so every, the chuck out them. So just this one, one, one area goes a far away, you know. So we add them to the mixer, you know. So we have strings, two strings, so kick, snare. I just call this near one. As I say, you know, if you do it so neat and fine, but just me that OCD, you know? So clap, higher to one, higher to open hat, tubula, effects, drum roll. So I go add them to the mixer right now. You can. Not even know if you tell me it's like a be a shortcut muse, but yeah, you can add them to the mixer by channel routing, route selected tracks. But I normally just hold on pan, control shift press L. Add in all of them there. So now we have everything add, added to the mixer except for this, which is also a clap. So I put that clap there, there so drum roll. We put the next drum roll that we never add there. So so we could play what we have right now. And what we are going to do is, when we mix a rhythm, we normally just play the chorus because it have more energy and just mix the rhythm based off of the chorus. Alright, so everything is added. So we are start off mixing the string. So we are going to EQ it up. And as you can see, the whole, this is a EQ, a parametric EQ, so I show you all of the frequency them. Where the um, the sound are playing. And as you can see, the string I take up a lot of low end. Also, a lot of high end energy, right? So, what you really want is the instrument just to take up the frequency where it needed. And normally, the low end, like them area, you normally preserve them section for the kick and the the kick and the um the kick and the bass. So, if you have the instrument, them play with a lot of low end build up it might cause the rhythm to sound muddy and you know it just not clean you know so first thing we are gonna do we are gonna EQ out the low end we take out some of the low end out of the string you know if you take out everything you know if you be so extreme just take out enough way just take out enough way you still get the energy out of the instrument 
And you are, you are clearly a little of the mud out of the, um, the instrument as well. You can take out some of the topping. I don't know, we have preserved it. So the, so the lower end, we are preserved for the kick and the bass. The top end, we are preserved for the hi-hat and certain other sounds, you know? So we just are in bear that in mind. So, yeah. Normally, too, never mix an instrument by itself. Mix it in relation to the rhythm, them in, the, the other instrument, them in general, because you might mix the rhythm um, isolated, be a sound isolated, and then when they bring it back with the other, the other sounds, them in the rhythm, it sound crappy in relation to them, you know? But the reason make we are mix this um, isolated is because we are start, we are use this as a start, to start off the rhythm, we are build the PSI, side, so now watch that. So that's it for this string. All right, we're going to add the pod now. EQ again. So we're going to take out some of the lower notes of the pod. Boost some of the energy to make it sound warm. Take out some of the top. Preserve look like the growl in it. Uh, me as a man, I use a lot of compression when I mix. Some people do that. I use compression, I just balance the rhythm. You, so you might just see me, I got you want to add EQ in. You know? I use a lot of compression on instruments. So, to me that EQ fine. So now you are just go through and take time, bring it in till it sound like it alright. And I hit that. So I add the piano now. And hear the piano sound in relation to the string and the pod. As I can see, the piano take up some low end energy down here, so we are sweep out that. And bear in mind, say, the piano is a mid range type instrument, you know. It's good for learning instrument too, and know them specific range and where I do, you know. So it's a mid range type instrument, so we can take out the, some of the top and some of the low end as well, yeah. So we are going to just take out the piano completely and just take time to bring up the volume till it sound like it, they wait for the... So that's a that for the piano. So we are going to start mix some of the drum them now, so we are going to add in the kick. We are mute the piano for a second. Here the kick sound. Do some, do some surgery upon the kick. And a good rule to follow before you start mix is sound selection, right? So while you can mix mix the instrument them for sound good, it's good for choose the raw instrument, the best the best instrument will fit the, the, the rhythm at the time. Then just choose any or any kick drum, any or any instrument, then try to mix it at the end. Choose the sound them way as close to as possible to what you want. Right? Then mix it after the enhance it, isn't it? So we are gonna deal with the kick. Can take out a little amount of the sub out of the kick. Take out some of the top. Because a kick is a low end instrument, so we can take out some of the top as a little at the top, we are just left little for add some a little click in it, you know. As I can hear the kick kinda of sound light. What most people do when them kick sound light is turn up the kick itself. 
But you don't want to do that because it's going to bring up the low end as well. The best thing for do is to turn up the top to make it, you can hear the top, top, top out of the kick. Even though it's a low end instrument. So you don't want to turn up the boom, you want to turn up the top, top, you know? So we are turn up that. As you can hear. So you can just search through, find out the best place right there. So now you get it a knock. You can go one step further and bring up some of the, the boom in this night. If you make sure so you kick a knock solid, you know, when you listen to it from big sound. So that's a lot for the kick. So I move on to the snare them now. And as usual, sweep out some of the low end because them instruments and don't need low end. You know, low end of a bass and kick. You understand what I say? So, you don't need the low end, so sweep out again. And now, EQ out certain things out of it. Or the second snare so at this point now you can start do some panning you know because everything we have so far I play it dead on in the center we have two snare writers I play but we can do a, a, a slightly pan one of them to the left or the right just to give the if you spread the sound them a little bit So I'll add the clap you now. As I can see, clap will take up some space now they're doing. We don't want that. Take out some of that. Clap your kind of sound sharp, so we're gonna do a, add some reverb on if you just splash it out, you know? Okay. And we're gonna pan it somewhat. Just to spread the sound them. So, so far, I deserve. Take me up on the piano, too. So, I got add the bass now. Mute the piano for a while. As I can see, when I mix instruments, I not solo them. I mix them in relation to the other instrument, them. Right? Because, as I say, you might mix the rhythm, mix a instrument in isolation. 
And then when you play it in relation to the other instrument, them sound like crap. It start clash with this. I say, you want... Because you might play a sound solo, you know, and it sound crappy. But in relation to the rhythm and every other thing, it sound good. So that you want. Because people now listen to the bass alone. People now listen to the kick alone. People listen to everything in a one. So that are the, that's are the most important thing. So the bass now. We are EQ out some of the top out of the bass. Can okay, boost the sub in them area. Yeah. That's the sub there. The heaviness side. You can boost some of the top. So people who are listening to it on smaller speaker can hear what I go and see me. Can feel it. And what we can do is, because the kick and the bass, right? They are playing at the same, they are fight for the same spot. They are fight for the same low end frequency, right? What we can do is, in other area we boost about 65 hertz on the kick, we can do the opposite. Um, on the bass, meaning we, we kind of boost the, the, the thump of the kick in the 60 area. So what we are going to do in the bass is take out some of that same area, that 65, 64. So that's, it, 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 it kind of, the bass kind of left like a room for the kick jump out, you know? Because they might fight for the same spot. So, Basically balance, you know? So we are going to play the bass with, the, with what we have so far. Take time adding the bass. Sound, sound like you are right this one. So we are adding the tubular bell them. them that are the first hi-hat now hi-hat now is a sound where I'm mostly high-end so there's no need to have none of them here that area in the hi-hat if it sound good too no no can do it but hi-hat is a, like a high-end instrument so you just want to preserve the high-end so everything below them here we don't need sweep them up and we just take time bring it in we have add the second higher rapid one and we are gonna do the same thing I show you one way if you don't know how to do that this is a way of copy the same settings from one channel to the next fruity loop add it in at the most recent update I go click on the plugin, hover over, save um, preset as, and drag it over. So now we have the same effect where we put on the EQ, on the first hi-hat, on the second hi-hat as well. So I add the old hat. And what you can do is, you can play with the hi at them. Like, do a little panning. It's a good thing to spread the sound because you have to bear in mind, say, people now have one ears, you know? People now listen to music in a mono. People listen to music 
in a stereo from them two years. So you have to find ways for um entertain them ears. So you can spread the soul, not afraid to spread the soul. And just one rule where, where you can follow is anything where you do on the left, do on the right. So if you have a sound where you, you pan a certain amount to the left, in order to complement that, find a next sound and, uh, uh, and do the same thing to it to the right, you know. Just for, for, for build balance. Because you know uh, the entire rhythm must swing in a one direction, left or right. You want everything for balance. So everything I feel do it um how you feel. Just 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 as I say, creativity in a, in a box. Just do what sound good. This is just how me do it, right? So I add the lead sound. As I can hear, kind of loud. Basically, that would I say, me not know about compression in my mix them for my instrument. Them all me do I just turn up, turn down, balancing to to my ears, right? And you uh, can't stress this enough. Mixing, yeah, in a, some rare cases, mixing can make a rhythm whenever sound good, sound bad. But the best thing is. Even greater than mixing is sound selection. So you want to make sure so you choose good quality sounds and use good quality sounds and use sounds where as close as possible to how you want the um or the final thing sound where that imagine. As close to it as possible, probably even ninety percent close. And then you mix it after for fine tune it. But don't just select random sounds then say, alright, after I mix it it'll go sound better. Most of the time, you end up waste a bag of time, you know? So, I could play what we have so far from the intro to the chorus. So that's that, that people. Thanks for tuning so far. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And we're there. More tutorial coming soon. Just make me know what I want to see. Why is coming?